Oh, one more. Oh, I saw you move. QB have been running an initiative all year with each of the Premiership Rugby Clubs, so 12 of the Premiership Rugby Clubs, basically looking to work with a grassroots club within the region. Um, um, and what we've got here today, as you can see, we've got obviously three Saints players down here with the Stockwood Park under 12s. Um, they get a, an hour coaching session and a Q&A uh, with the players and, and also £1,000 worth of kit, which we'll see them through next season and hopefully beyond that as well. It definitely brings back some memories. I remember me being this age, and uh, I mean, obviously, we didn't have the same sports come down, but it's good. I always remember jumping around in the puddles and spending good time in the clubhouse. So, it brings back some good memories here, and it's nice to see some old, old faces, even though I don't really remember them because I was only little back then. But no, I mean, the club's moving forward. It's a nice community club, like, place for people from all over Luton and Dunstable, or whatever, and uh, it's a good place to be. They're a bit more infused about contact than we are these days, I think, but I think that's because they haven't got 19 stone lads running up and training. But no, nah, they're enjoying it. Um, they're pretty good, they pretty, they've got pretty good knowledge and we're just helping them along that bit further and they're really enjoying it. I mean, the first thing they say when they come over, oh, are we tackling, are we tackling? We're like, no, just chill out a bit. So, but no, they're really enjoying it, they're learning quickly and uh, they, hopefully they'll take it on board. Even when it's raining, I'll still enjoy it. You can see the kids are listening and they take you in. So. I enjoy it even even when it is raining and a bit cold. I don't mind. You see the kids get a good benefit out of it and listening and improve from start to finish. We really had uh, Wigan players come down on presentation night. Um, we didn't really get the privilege of them coming down to train with us. I wish we did. Um, I wish my hero had come down and trained. Not to say that I'm the, these kids' hero, but I wish that some players had come down and, and trained with us and shown us how they how they did. Uh, from yeah, the start, they um, <laughs> went this really well. Okay, we started off quite low intensity, sort of thing, but we built it up, and by the end of it, was succeeding in everything we were doing. So that was the main point, um, and everything we, they wanted to do, we wanted to make sure they made some sort of success and some sort of progress. And um, I think by the end of it, they made good progress in everything they got taught, and hopefully they take their skills away with them. Um, hopefully, develop their playing into their team. At this age, it's about getting out there, playing rugby, and. Uh, and you know everything will happen around that and uh, you know opportunities like this can only help young players and, and give them give them role models really for the future. I think uh, it's important for the grassroots rugby because they are the next level. Okay, but in order for us to get across our what we want to develop them into the players, I think it's good for us to go into the schools and the local clubs around the community to make sure that we give our best coaching available. So even though they're getting helped out with the coaches at their club with their mums and dads and sort of thing, I think it's important for us to go out to the clubs to get our knowledge across to them and hopefully get them to progress um, and develop their rugby further to make sure the kids enjoy it.